Uh, Y'all may know, there's an old saying, and it's the more I know, the more I know that I know nothing. <laughs> you know who said that? I don't. <laughs> I think that means I'm a genius. <laughs> this is Stephen Colbert's hot takes. First, people love hot takes. It's a fan, it's a fan favorite. First, let me remind you of the hot takes promise. These are snap judgments I made before I learned any facts. <laughs> then once I learned the facts, I didn't change my judgment. It's a hot take. I'll give you an example. When I saw this graphic and decided it looked like a flaming meteor and not something you set on fire in a bag and leave on an enemy's porch. <laughs> my first hot take tonight, Sesame Street. I've always been a fan of Sesame Street. It taught me so much. The alphabet, counting, how to make friends with angry men in dumpsters. <laughs> but sadly, I can no longer tell you how to get, how to get to Sesame Street. <laughs> because it's moved. It's now being brought to you by the letters H, V, and O. And, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. Grover has always been full frontally nude. <laughs> You have to look closely, but it's all there. <laughs> Sesame Street had to move because they've been operating at a loss for a number of years, in part due to a dip in licensing revenue from toy makers and DVD sales. At one point, it got so bad that Tickle Me Elmo had to change his name to Do Anything to Me for $20, Elmo. <laughs> sad. Really sad. It's a tough city. And Sesame Street has changed in more than its address. It got gentrified. Oscar the Grouch has ditched the trash can for a compost bin. Big Bird has a big tree house, and there's even Wi-Fi. <laughs> What's next? Cookie Monsters gluten-free? Bert and Ernie adopt Senegalese twins? Will the Count finally seek treatment for his OCD? <laughs> my counting was a displaced desire to control my life. Ah, 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 ah. One, no. Someone stop me! Three, help me get my meds! Ah, ah, ah! My hot take? I not like. I'm sorry, Sesame Street. I never thought I'd say this, but after 45 years, I'm gonna stop watching. From now on, I'm gonna learn my colors from orange is the new black. <laughs> Next hot take? Nature. I love the outdoors, but lately, nature has gotten downright weird. I just read that according to the U.S. Geological Survey, 85% of male smallmouth bass in waters in and around national wildlife refuges in the Northeast have developed eggs where their testes should be. <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> Unless you're a smallmouth bass that feels you were born with fish eggs where your testes should be, <laughs> in which case, I support your journey. And just, you go. You, do, you be you. You do you. And just recently, here's another example. One Arkansas deer hunter shot what he thought was an eight-point buck, but was actually much more. Independence County man bags his first buck of the season, or at least that's what it looked like on the outside. He hunted down an unusual trophy last night, a doe with antlers. Didn't have the male parts and it had female parts. It's a nice rack. Now. <laughs> I assume by rack he means the doe's antlers, though, given what's going on, it's really only a matter of time. <laughs> by the way, hello. By the way. Really very attractive. <laughs> no denying it. By the way, the man who bagged this transgender was named Danny Beaver. Now, and here's the thing. When very late in the pro, we heard the name Danny Beaver, and I said, oh, well, obviously we have to make this graphic. We have to make this graphic to represent that man. 
But here's the thing, and then, but then we saw the footage about the story. We saw that you get to see what the guy looks like, and it's not this. So I said, we have to cut, like, the picture of the guy as the man beaver, and I said, no. We have to show it to people. Because <laughs> if I were named Danny Beaver, if I were named Danny Beaver, I wouldn't want to look like this. He, maybe, maybe this is what he looks like under a full moon. Maybe. Maybe he's a were beaver. <laughs> My hot take I not like. What the hell's going on? Is God drunk again? <laughs> Last time that happened, we got the red lipped batfish. <laughs> Remember this, God? You cannot handle your tequila. <laughs> now, according to scientists, the likely reason for these radical changes is endocrine disrupting chemicals such as herbicides, fungicides, industrial chemicals, and hormones, often from consumers flushing old and unwanted drugs down toilets. Hence the old saying, every time an A-Rod pees, an angelfish gets its wings. <laughs> <laughs>